Hi, my name is Frank. I'm your professor for the semester in Writing 227 Professional Writing. I hope you have a good semester and that you enjoy the experience and that all of your classes are going well as you're getting acclimated to the beginning of the term. I am going to just walk you through some of the essentials so that you have a sense of what we're doing in this class. And I'm going to start with our Brightspace page. I always start at content. Under overview, you'll see a copy of the message that I sent you via email. One of the things you see at the bottom of this message is the option to join a signal group. And this signal group is secure and it gives us the opportunity to have in the moment messaging. So please, just in time, need to know now messages will get posted there. The other place that we will post, and I will show you this as we go through, will be in the Q&A discussions that will be available to you at all times, and they can be anonymous uh, if you choose. So let's continue to go through content and start at the table of contents. And it starts here, a little bit about me, and then general explanation of the class, learning objectives, class syllabus. The class syllabus is a Google site. And you can go through the class syllabus and you can see everything on this Google site that you would see in a more traditional looking class syllabus. This will be a little more interactive. For example, there's the QR code and the link again for the signal group. Also, here is a little a link to the first yeah. as you know, a hard copy. You can click on printable syllabus and it'll give you a copy of this version, which is basically the same information, but in more traditional printed form. But this is the syllabus that will be updated regularly as things change and get adjusted, et cetera. One of the things you'll see on this syllabus is our class texts. The required text for this class is writing in professional contexts. It is available in the bookstore. You can click here on the link of the ISPN number or of the title, and it will take you to an online search for other available copies of the text. There's also a free text that I have put here that you click on and it will take you into the URI library resources. You don't have to pay for this book. You don't have to buy it. There is no hard copy. And if you click here, it will take you to this book. It's a nice annex to our book. Sometimes you want a little more information or you want examples about how to do things, how to set things up, what things should look like, what are the ideas to help you understand certain parts of assignments. And this book will also be very helpful. The other thing that's very helpful as your student handbook, more or less, as a writer, is the Purdue Writing Lab. And the Purdue Writing Lab has every kind of writing on it that you would probably need to be a professional writer and examples and activities to help you with that. It's also very good for setting up references uh, when you're doing secondary research and um, something that you wanna use kind of for all your classes probably. And I'll make other resources available as they happen. Module one is available now. So if I click on module one, I see the overview, learning objectives and the to-do list. So this is how each will be set up with an orientation at the beginning. Once you're on the to-do list, you'll see any readings, videos to watch, any other information, our shared drive. You can probably also find the shared drive if you're logged into your uri.edu then you should see it here on the left under shared drives. So if you have any other shared drives, they'll be there, but there's this one. All of your work is going to go here. You are not submitting assignments in any other format, but Google. And all of your assignments must be started and finished in this folder. So if I go to project one and part 1A is going to go here, on a Google document that I am going to start here. This is something that I wrote. In order to be a collaborative community of learners, in order to be able to share, in order for, be, for, for us to be able to show our draft from start to finish, keeping something on a Google document, whether it's a, a Google Doc or a Google Slide presentation or a Google Sheet, allows me as the evaluator to look at your version history. I can see all of your drafts from start to finish. Okay, so this is something I started back here on November 24th, and then I started my essay. Here it all is. 
I made changes being my most recent copy on December 6th of 2022. This was my final essay. So if you were writing something, I would be able to see all of those drafts per se, without you having to do anything. You don't have to do any saving or anything. They're all there for me to see. Now, if you copy and paste something in, what am I going to see? I'm going to see no history at all. If I don't see any history, I can't give you full credit for an assignment. If your assignments are not done on a Google document, if they're done on a Word document or a PDF, I cannot give you credit for that. They must be done on a Google document and they must not be done somewhere else and then pasted in as a final copy. I must be able to see the revision history. The other thing the Google document serves is the opportunity for peer review, peer review through commenting. So here's peer review of the work that I did from one of my colleagues as I was going through it. I can also look at comment history. So you may have uh, resolved comments and I might wanna look at some of the comments that you already resolved or deleted. That's in your comment history. So please value the importance of this. Under assignments, you can see all the assignments listed that you'll be doing this semester. Each of these will open in the order in which they should be completed. And there will be a due date for every one of them. Understand that you must complete assignments by the due date. The discussions will appear as they become relevant. All of the discussions, the way discussions are graded is you get 50% credit for your post. You get 25% credit for each of your responses to others' posts. And then you get 0.1 extra credit for each additional response beyond the first two. The other discussion that's always open at the end, there's a Q&A. And this Q&A is another place where you can ask questions and give answers. You can do it anonymously. It's set up to be anonymous. It's not graded about any of these topics or anything else that you want to ask or answer, anything you want to share. Please use this Q&A. I prefer the Q&A uh, over email because everyone gets to read the question and you can make it anonymous so it doesn't embarrass you to ask the question if that's an issue to you. And it benefits others because they may have the same questions. Not particularly hard class in the sense that if you're doing the reading and you're doing the assignments, they flow very easily. I give you as much feedback as I can. Your, your classmates probably give you better feedback than me sometimes, which is great. That's the idea of a collaborative experience. There is going to be a collaborative presentation. You have already been set up with two or three other folks. Now, one of the other things about the folders, and I need to go back and mention this. I'm sorry, I didn't mention it earlier. While you have comment only access in the shared drive, within your own folder that you create, you will have full administrative access. Within the shared folder of your group, you will have full administrative access. The good news is you can't screw up anybody else's work because you don't have administrative access to make changes or deletions in their folders. I think that about covers it for now. I'm going to try and keep it simple and not too complicated. If this generates any questions and you want to ask them, please put them in the Q&A or add the signal and put them there. And I will answer them as quickly as I can. If it's a more personal question, really only applies to you or, or a circumstance of yours, then please send me an email. Otherwise, I hope you have a fantastic semester and I hope you enjoy the rest of the summer weather for as long as you can and stay safe, be well.